Welcome back to my channel, Learn at Cloud Analytics. So whenever you try to attend any interviews, right, there are uh, the same set of questions that have been repeatedly asked during an interview, out of which the first important question would be asked is, tell me about yourself. The next important question that follows to this question would always be, explain about your prior project. Now it's quite important to understand what is really expected out of this question and how you frame yourself in the right way to make sure that the next set of questions that have been questioned by the interviewer are in the way that you have already been prepared to it. Okay, so in this video, I will help you understand what are the different aspects of framing this answer and how do you present yourself in the right way and make sure that you are able to impress the interviewers and ace that particular job interview. So let's get into this discussion part. Um, so whenever you've been asked about to explain about your prior project, no matter which project you've been working on or in which technical stack that you've been uh, looking at, try to un uh, understand what is really expected out of this particular question, right? So we need to understand and then we have to frame our answers in the right structure. So try to always begin with a positive note to make an impact with the interviewer. So how do you make that? So always try to uh, explain about the impact of the project that has brought and followed by the problem statement of the respective project, right? So uh, you need to first talk about what is that um, success that you have seen from that project. So that's the first thing followed by what is the problem uh, where you wanted to solve that with the with your respective project so that is your second part to be considered followed by now you know like what is your problem and how did you solve this particular business problem so how did you uh, try to resolve that particular issue right so that would be followed the next one so then followed by you also need to talk about the team so if you are working as a team player or probably you are an individual contributor in the project, you would need to highlight about it, talk about the team and uh, try to highlight about your role in that particular project. So this is quite important. So the interviewers are not interested to understand what your other team members have uh, contributed to that particular project, but rather what is your specific role in that particular project. So that is quite important. So always try to highlight what are your roles and responsibilities in that given project. Okay, followed by what are the different tools and technologies that you have used throughout the project. And lastly, talk about what are the difficulties that you have faced during this project and how you have been able to handle those difficulties with a positive note. Okay, so uh, these are quite important so that when you try to answer in this particular format, right, the interviewers would be able to understand that you had uh, thoroughly prepared, like uh, you have thoroughly worked on a, a good project and you have all the right information that is expected from the interviewer. Okay, so this will also help you to lay that first impression throughout the interview and make yourself comfortable while answering to the other questions that would follow along. Okay, so to answer to this particular question, I have given a very generic uh, uh, statement like how we can present this in a better way. But please note that every project is different and what I've written here is just uh, to make you understand like how you can answer to this particular format. Okay, so um, talking about that project, what I can explain is or how you can uh, present yourself is recently I had a really good success project with a client who hired me as a Power BI developer. So what we did was we helped them to increase their sales growth by 75% because of an insight that we found by studying their data. The business found that there wasn't much growth from certain regions and wanted to investigate it further. So we have been given with the sales data to analyze and find the key insights to help them increase the sales. So we discussed with the business to understand what is success for a sales campaign. So 
in order to understand that we broke that down into total sales deal size and number of deals and then we got even more granular and said how we can find insights within these kind of high level kpis and therefore we broke down even further on total sales so we looked at total sales across geography by time and then by demographic which is with respect to age and gender and what we found by studying all of their sales data is that women in the age group between 35 and 44 have contributed to the highest amount of sales from americas we have then presented this data and reports to the management to help them focus on either high performing demographic or spread it all evenly which eventually led the business increase their sales by 75 percent when compared to the previous year i'm an individual contributor in the project responsible in understanding the business problem performing data analysis and visualizing the data to help business make better decisions. I have used Power BI for development of report development and the major challenges that I faced throughout this project included lack of proper business domain knowledge. So see how I was able to frame uh, this question in a right structure. So I've just started my uh, answer by saying like, what impact did that project make to the overall business where I spoke about that the sales growth had been increased by 75 percent and then i to, uh, spoke about what was the business problem and uh, uh, how we try to reverse engineer that problem to identify that issue and how we've been able to answer to that and uh, and then i also spoke about about my role in the project and the different tools and technologies that i've used followed by the difficulties that i've faced during this particular project okay so this is a very simple example that i wanted to project here but rather i hope you understood how you can frame yourself in a better way while you answer to this particular question okay so if you do like this video please do like share and subscribe and do not forget to uh, provide your comments in the comment section so that it would help me understand if this answer had helped you to ace your interview thank you